Over to you, Nuno. Okay. Good afternoon, morning or night, depending uh, where you are uh, listening this session. Uh, and welcome to uh, collaborations about teams. Okay, let's get started. My session is about Microsoft Teams with bots, connectors and tab. My name is Nuno Aria Silva. Uh, to understand a little more from myself, I work in IT uh, more than 20 years. I'm MVP on Office Apps and Services. I'm also Windows Insider MVP and MCT. Uh, you have here my blog, my email, my personal email, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, I'm work at GFI. I'm architect manager. Um, I lead projects about Office 365 and Azure also. Uh, and I'm responsible about all these kind of projects uh, about new Microsoft technologies. You have my contacts here. You are available to connect to me. OK. Here is the agenda. Uh, we will have uh, an overview about uh, Teams. Um, we will see about connectors, tabs, and bots, what is possible to do in Microsoft Teams, uh, how to set up Microsoft Teams to have um, customized uh, bots and tabs and so on, uh, a little demo, and I will have some resources and lab that you can do after um, the session. Okay. What is Teams about? Many of you are already using Teams uh, in several years. Uh, the Teams is changing. Uh, what is the main objective of the Teams? Uh, teams is based directly on Office platform. What, what, what can I build? You can create add-ins and web parts within your office. Uh, you can customize to leverage your company or your organization to a new level using your own apps. You can create web and device apps. You can create smarter apps and connecting to office services. And you also can connect directly to voice, video connectors and bots and create uh, the next generation of productivity solutions based on your needs. As an overview about Teams, uh, not today, but if we can see these numbers, um, the employees are work on nearly two, two times the number of teams compared to five years ago. Uh, you are working in internal or external teams. You are geography distributed, multi-generation workforce. And now with this situation, you are collaborating more using these kind of tools. And the teams, uh, virtual teams, are all connected using these technologies. And what is possible to do? You will have in your organization different groups that has different needs. You have uh, features that need a chat based workspace. You have the mail calendar, voice video meetings, co-creating content, sites, and enterprise social. But the today's challenge uh, in organizations is that you can have siloed applications. You can have multiple logins. It's difficult to discover information, sharing, and so on. Uh, that wastes time. Um, if you are switching too many applications uh, to get the work done, uh, you lost your time just doing that. And uh, the main thing is if you don't give the tools to the end users, the users will find other tools 
and it's called shadow IT, that you don't have <clears throat> security compliance and it's risky to your organization. And that's why Microsoft create uh, Teams. Uh, it's a complete solution based on Office 365 groups. You will have integrated experience and you will have security and compliance as you have seen in the previous session. Uh, you have many options to secure our data. And about Teams, what we can do. Looking to Teams, you can connect directly from the portal and so on. And the Teams, it's a shed for today's Teams, a app for network. It's customizable for each team. And you have the security based on all certifications from Microsoft. And what we'll have is you can have chat for today's teams. You have chat history visible to entire team, private chats. You can join a Skype video call because some customers also have uh, Skype for business. You can also now connect with Skype uh, public from the, the Skype app in, in public. You can connect using multiple devices. Uh, that's the easy way to be productive uh, and connect to others and get the work done. And how about a hub for a teamwork? You will have chat content people in the same place. You will have quick access to information that you need. It's integrated with all Office applications and you, you also can connect to other third, uh, third party applications or you can create your own application. And about customization, for example, you can have tabs to quick access to the information to need in that team, in that channel. You can export data with bots. Uh, you can connect using Office 365 connectors or from third party tools and services. And you also can access to developer preview APIs to build integrations. And about security, about security, the Teams is compliant with standards. All these certifications, ISO, SOC, HIPAA, EU model causes and more. You will have data encryptions all time at rest and in transit. All communications are completely uh, encrypted and itself in the Teams application at rest without using the application, it's all encrypted. You also have the security using multi-factor authentication and privacy safeguards using your organization. And about connectors and bots. You can connect, for example, to different services, to Twitter, to Zendesk, to RSS feed, uh, and many more. And you also can create using bots or develop your own bots to interact with your own services. And what about the different roles that you have different kind of teams? It's suited to different kind of uh, teams directly. For example, uh, if you have a sales team, you can create a, a team dedicated to, to their. Uh, now Microsoft uh, has available that you can create uh, your own templates about teams. Uh, for example, you can have a marketing team that coordinate campaigns and so on. You also is suited for project management. For example, you can integrate with Planner and other tools or projects and so on. To the engineering team, for example, to integrate to development tools or to Azure, DevOps and so on. And also, for example, to customer support, uh, to escalations, to speed up and to create solutions and the, the teams collaborate faster to resolve the problems. And what about Microsoft Teams as an ML-centric organization? The goals 
is to separate customer communications, notification from teams and collaborations. You have now uh, all teams dispersed. Uh, many of you are working remotely. Uh, then now more than before, you are working uh, with collaboration tools. And it's easier to find and to discuss uh, using these kind of tools to be fast and to be more prudent. And how about some kind of stories? You can reading, finding conversations, uh, deleting a team, discussion and commenting, office banter for remote work and, and so on. Just to understand the history of Microsoft Teams, when it started. It started in preview in November 2016. It was all available in all, almost all markets with 18 different languages. And general availability, it was in uh, 14 uh, uh, March in 2007. It was general availability and so on. Many features are coming and so on. Now you will have many features till the end of the year, like for example, theater mode, you can do emojis and so on, and the translations directly, you will have many features or for example, the part of dynamic uh, cameras that uh, the teams uh, will have the intelligence that shows the cameras best uh, for you, or you can select uh, another mode if you if you want. And that's the main thing that teams are always updated and coming with many features. And about connectors, tabs and bots. About connectors, you can connect to several um, services, for example, uh, to Trilo, uh, Twitter, to Bing, RSS, Webhooks, uh, Wonderlist, and so on. You can connect to to your Azure DevOps and update the channels based in your connectors. And it's easier uh, to connect to those services and uh, to configure, and uh, it will be faster to have in the same tool all concentrated the information that you need. Also, you will have connector framework. Uh, I will put here the the links in the in the chat uh, to be faster. Just wait a second. I will put the links in the chat to you understand. And if you want to to see more, okay. The first link. Here. Here the second look. Okay. Uh, here about connector framework, you can uh, create your own connector uh, within groups and you can create your own connector you seeing the development site uh, about connectors um, within microsoft about tabs it's always visible to you in top and stay with conversation then it's easier uh, to find the information that you need about the default tabs you have many default tabs the files the, the notes and so on but you can create your own tab. Also, you have bots. Bots, uh, it's the easy way. Uh, for example, you can connect to robot and uh, some other bots from Microsoft or uh, third party bots. And then you can discover over the search or over the files and so on to work faster within the organization. And for example, 
we'll have here the who bot, for example. The who bot, uh, it's a bot from Microsoft. It's really simple. Uh, this bot, you can get a more effective answer within your organization. You can ask who is uh, that person who knows about um, that kind of expertise, uh, works with, with reports with the manager and the same manager, uh, the email and so on. And it's faster to connect to other persons. Um, to do that, you just find a app, uh, just uh, put on the search box who, and then uh, you can install it, the who application. For example, it's directly over here. And it's faster to install and just accept uh, that connects to your profile and it's ready. But what about bot framework? Bot framework, you can create create your own bot. For example, if you go here, I will put the link also in the chat. Let's, let's put here. And just to understand more, for example, about the bot framework, you can try your Azure bot services for free. We'll have uh, some examples in customers, Cognitive Surfer, Bot Lifecycle, it's open. You can create your own bot like a virtual assistant to customer care to enterprise. Here are some examples that are using already bots. And the broad framework, it's your assistant. You can have the speech, Q&A, language, you can have vision and so on. <clears throat> you have knowledge, you can have skills. <clears throat> it can connect to many um, parts to do tasks to calendar you can connect to apis within office graph using your azure active directory and to consume those bots you can have many kind of inputs or type or speak or using adaptive cards you can have many channels uh, you can create your own channels or put in a web page or integrate it directly on teams and so on Centrally, you have the Azure bot services and you connect to different kind of devices. And it's faster to, um, to start. And the important thing is the life cycle of the, the bot. First of all, you need to design. You have guidance, quick start and so on, and some tutorials here. You can build solutions. You can test test in a web chat, then publish, then connect to channels, then evaluate, and so on. Uh, it's faster, it's five minutes, quick start to create your bot and start uh, using that uh, to understand more how to connect. Okay. And the first of all, you need for example, to set up teams. How to set up teams? Uh, just to understand a little more. Uh, to set up teams, it's a general service within Office 365. It's about available on these kind of subscriptions, uh, business essentials, premium enterprise, and so on. Um, it's, you also have Teams free, but Teams free don't have many features about uh, sharing documents and so on. And 
how to set up to create when you create your own apps. You need to go to admin center, to teams, uh, the admin center to teams. Then in the teams app, you need to change the permission policies. You have the default, the global um, policy. Then you can create your own or you can change this one. And we, you need to change the custom apps. You can create an own app by your, your own users or third party apps and so on. That is a, a pre-requirement uh, to put your applications on Teams. And what about next steps? Turn on Teams for your company if it's not already available. Identify always a team to begin a pilot, plan a company rollout within all features that um, you will need. Now about resources and lab. Here we have many resources. Just to understand these kind of resources. If you are not already joined the developers program today, I will put the link here in the chat again. OK. Uh, here you have your free development sandbox, sample data packs. You can access to exports, personalized recommendations. <clears throat> you get a free developer subscriptions to test your own and this advisor always in organizations that you have a separate subscription to do your own tests prior to do on your own uh, tenant uh, of production. Uh, you have sample packs available. You get access to community about RAF, frameworks, teams, add-ins and so on. And discover personalized contents and so on. Just click join, follow up the instructions and you are on the development program today. OK, what about administration settings for Microsoft Teams? Let me just open. OK, here you have your settings about your organization, about external access. If you want to guest access, your team settings, the tagging, ML integrations, all the files uh, that you can enable to draw a box, box and so on, but uh, you can disable as a, a best practice uh, to do not have shadow IT. Uh, how you control the devices. If you are in a coexistent mode to migrate to Teams, you have coexistent mode or to Iceland or with Teams collaborations and so on, but it's advised uh, you to migrate to Teams only. And if you have on other uh, communications or Skype for Business coexistence, you have here more information. I will put the, the link here in the chat again to read more. Okay. You also need to do a network planner because communications and understand more the roadmap about things. OK, we have here some questions about admin help also. How is the team's architecture, the, the groups, how is created the SharePoint, the shared mailbox and calendar, OneNote, it's 
better to understand here how to manage your teams using the admin center, the roles, if you need to operate from Skype, how you can connect teamwork to teams, Outlook, SharePoint, OneDrive, Yammer, all office apps, and it's advised to read here if you are an admin in the organization to understand more the architecture. Okay. One more link, more information to you. Next one. The bot framework that you, you have seen before that you can create the bot. It's the same link that, that I have shared to you. And how to create a bot from page no coding and question answer new member and cognitive services for, for so on. For example, here you have uh, an example to create a bot from a fact page without coding. Just follow these instructions. Uh, this new service is just to understand more a QA maker introduction on cognitive services website to understand how it works, the overview, the features, and so on. You also have here a demo. For example, here you have a demo. You can create your knowledge base, data source, create new knowledge base. You can give personality. And for example, about personality that is important depending your own bot, you can have professional, friendly, witty, caring, or enthusiastic. And you have several language support already. And the settings that you can create your own bot. Okay, continue the, the example. You have here the Q&A Maker website. You have experience, the experience how it will look like. No code experience. It's faster to create these to uh, to better test to to be an introduction to you about these uh, bots. Automatically extraction, multi turn conversations, active learning, scale as per you need. You can chat more than fifty language and the related services and language and using Azure search and so on. OK. This example, go to Q&A page, create new service. To create new service, just follow these instructions. You will have here the convert page of Q&As. Then you can test and train your bot. And after that, you publish your bot. And here you have instructions to create Q&A on Azure. OK? Uh, let me see. OK, it's a shared this link. I don't know, but I will put. OK, it's not shared. Now, just to see a little demo about this, okay? Have here a Teams. This is a, 
a demo tenant. Okay, for example, that I have show you the who bot, correct? What can you do that? You can go here to find an app. It's here uh, faster, but if it's not here in this search, you can find the who and how it works. You can ask who is, for example, I, I have done these tests, for example, Adele. And the boss shows that she's a retail manager, who is the manager, works with, you have here your organization chart, and it's faster to connect to other persons. Um, for example, I can ask, for example, you can ask help, the bot will show an examples, or for example, who knows about project. Okay, you have here some persons that have one mention, both designer, an engineering, a marketing assistant, and so on. And it's faster that you you can connect to person. And it's faster to chat to other person. Okay. And for example, you have here more tabs. For example, here bots. You can create a bots to other services. You can connect, for example, an advisor for teams, for example, let see this. Okay. You have here the advisor for teams. It's used teams to roll out teams within your organization. And let's see this application. Okay. You can start asking within using help directly. And here, let's wait, we understand. It's not responding. Let's test another one. Or you can create, for example, your own app. App Studio, okay. Let's start for App Studio. You have Manifesto Editor. You can create here a new app or import an existing app. Let's create an app. Okay. Test app teams. New test. You can create your grid, generate it, the package name, the version 1.0. You can create here the description. Let's just copy paste and so on. Organization is the same, the website on. You don't have partner and so on. You can have your own branding, the full color, transparent outline, ascent color. You can let your users call and this loading a spinner. You can select loading indicator. You have also, for example, full screen mode. Then the capabilities a team tab, for example. The team tab will go to contoso.com, for example, to the team, to group chat. One has an app page. You can save it. You can add 
others or a personal tab, for example. Then you have bots here. You can have here the setup, a new bot. If it supports uploading or downloading files, one way, supports video calls, it's for teams, group or personal or so on. Or you can connect to existing bot from your bots or to another ID. Okay. You can generate and manage our passwords. You can generate new passwords. The endpoints, okay. New password generated. Then point address. You can have comments for your bots. Okay. Comment text help. You can select through here. And you have here the comments, and it's available. You can connect to other services, your own connector, your ID, URL, configuration, or you can register your connector. Okay? Okay, because a few details missing URL. Okay, some problems here in the configurations because it's a demo tenant. Okay, also you can have message extensions. What are the message extensions or to use as in scene bot and so on. The language your default language, the region. You can import other language, additional language. You can sell it here, your other language. As you can see, or in Italian, the region and import. You can select your own file to import it. the domains and permissions to navigate, the device permissions to use, the app ID, test and submit, okay. You can install your app in Teams for testing. Okay, because I don't feel other um, parts. You have here all other apps. And also, you can download your package to submission and to submit your app to Teams App Store for approval, for example. Also, you have the validation. Teams App validation. Select the environment or upload the manifest package the checklist and so on. Also, you have card editor. You can create cards, an yellow card, a thumbnail, an adaptive card. Let's see, for example, adaptive cards. 
you can create here your adaptive cards. It will, will see like this, correct? And if I have here a JSON or node, and you can select what do you need. And send me this card. Okay. You have received it here on chat. Let's see it. And it's here. To understand, to, you can create your own cards. And it's easier. Okay, and also you can create thumbnail card, it's different, like this kind of test going to Microsoft or Azure, and let's test it, send me the card. It's here. An LO card, as example, some tests, and so on. And also you have control library. In control library, you can create buttons, drop downs, checkbox, radio buttons, stop, toggles, inputs, text areas, links, tabs, tables, icons, and so on. You can create your own table. You can have icons, you can have the links, the inputs, some checkboxes, some buttons, the icon and so on. You can see the code for that button. And here, for example, the home about this. Also here, you can create design and to understand more. A tab about the website of App Studio to understand more. You will go into Microsoft Steam platforms, how to create, for example, bots. using the bot framework also. And you can explore here. Or a Teams app to understand how to learn to build apps and introduction, the tabs and message extensions, models, webhooks, and so on. And some templates, team app templates that production ready applications. Let's see this. Okay, app templates, plug and play experience. It's associated within Power Apps, for example. Let's see these apps. You can get it here on GitHub. And you have here the app that already developed. Okay, have here all the content about deployment, the zip, the uh, Power BI that is already done to you. Okay, let's see for example, a tab. Okay, let's create for example, a tab to other connectors. You can create to Power BI, to other kind of services. We have more tabs here or connectors. Let's, for example, to create a tab to Planner, for example. It will show in this team if you already have the Planner. It will show here, you have here a planning. And just connect the tab or planner. 
or another example. I think I have here about this. I have created uh, some parts. For example, here is the the Portugal map about this COVID situation, and it's not uh, too bad, but I have created here a tab uh, connected already to a, a dashboard. Okay. This all accumulated cases here in Portugal from the beginning. OK, it's not too bad. Uh, and how is the settings here? I just put here do our help. And let's see about how this works. Let me show how I have done this, OK? I go here using a browser, OK? I'll go here a Portuguese uh, site that has that that information. OK, it's in Portuguese. But just to understand, I go here, for, for example, to this page that has the data, correct? Here is connecting the data. And how we see this. Just right button view frame source let's see let's see the source of this page you will have here the source to see the the code but how it's faster to understand what is this link okay let's press f12 and you can go here using the console. You can select the sources here. And to understand the connection, OK, it's about here, the page. And you can inspect this, this part, or to understand what is connected to each part of the site. Then you go over here and you have here the source, correct? It's the iframe. What I have done here, just select this test. Is the page like a, it's here in an iframe. I can go here, open in a new tab to test it. OK, it's working. Then I just select this, copy. Go here, for example, to another team. Just create a tab to a website. Put the name, put URL here. You can post the channel about. Save it, and it's done. Okay. It's fast. You create tabs directly to to the team. Okay. Let's see more about other parts. You can have your personal apps. That is your personal. You have here several bots that is connected, or you can create your own bot. You can test several of these. It can be usable to you. For example, a daily bot, standard meetings, some learning. You can connect, for example, ServiceNow, Virtual Agent, and so on. You have here dozens and dozens bots. Okay. Waste 
a little time to read it because some parts can be um, good for your organization. For example, let's test this. Customer insights. Okay. Let's start about now. You can have search, login, your session. It's in preview. And start searching. They ask me to log in. And I don't have here the password. Okay. Or you can also go here and some connectors to forms, to communities, to Yammer, DevOps, and so on. Okay, and then here you can upload your customer custom app directly to here. Okay, let's test, for example, another bot. This one. Left check. Okay, you have here the test chat, how it works. Okay, you write your own live chat, tap to a team, clicking in your own app the chat settings, sign in to live chat, Okay, after I log in, they asked me to connect today. I accept. You can have here the name, the chats that you can route to a team, the floating, you can have your own logo. You can have here a snippet, for example, for a website, or you can use, for example, WordPress. And mail at first.com. Okay, you see how it looks like. You can customize the, the fields, an online schedule, the settings, the targeting, CSS, some integrations to other connectors, your agent settings, your name, your profile photo, your plan because you can have here some plans. It's a, a paid plan. And then you can create this on a team to choose your app. Okay. Let's test this. Test it. Select it. Live chat, edit, 
ez a táv. And here you have your tests. Okay? Let's see the chat. The starting guide, the personalization page, and here you have about your test. Let's do the real test, okay? Just try the chat button below. Okay. No test. Let's go through here. Have five minutes left. Not you a chat yet. Just put here my credentials. Okay. It's not, it's not working. Something, some parts that are not really well. Okay, we have three minutes left. Questions? Thanks, Thanks Nuno. That was a very, very good demo and um, all the details you explained, which is brilliant. Um, OK, thank you. Just monitoring chat and uh, I can see a lot of information you have provided, which is really, really helpful. And I'm sure every attendee must have enjoyed that as well and collected all the information. So we got three minutes. Um, any anyone has any question please feel free to put it in the chat window or you can unmute yourself oh, okay so we got a question from david how okay. do you create the bot app using other azure bot framework um as i have uh, told here or uh, using c sharp for example let's see it let's go to the dev bot framework and here, I will put that in the chat again, okay? And you have here to create your own uh, bot from Windows, Mac or Linux. About the language, I'm not really um, uh, have the confirmation is you, that you can use C Sharp, but you can see here the quick starts. We have here .NET with Azure, NetJS. Okay, you have here C Sharp .NET samples. Let's see it. And I will put here 
in the chat to you. You have console, welcome, using cards, and so on. Okay. Fantastic. And uh, David, I will also recommend if you have missed um, our beats. Um, session uh, please have uh, like and have a go through um, he has like you know provided one small demo there not entirely but like you know you must like you know, review that okay we have another question just a bot. right now we can use three shop okay that's yeah. an information it's an information fantastic okay. You have here my contacts, my personal and my company contacts. And if you want to know more about Office 365 generally, just essentials, you have here um, the book, or you can just search Office 365 Essentials book. It was written by me. Um, you have it available, OK? Thank you. Um, we're just on time, so 